Hi, my name is Alan Parkinson. My wife and I invented the Potty Watch about three years ago, and uh, we've made a lot of improvements to the watch. Uh, we've noticed a lot of uh, blogs out there that uh, have been critical of the Potty Watch, and we just wanted to review some of the uh, improvements that we've made to the product over the years. Uh, first of all, we'd like to state that uh, the Potty Watch meets all of the safety standards for the U.S. market and our certificates are available on our website at www.puttytimeinc.com uh, uh, in addition to making it uh, completely safe uh, and meeting all the safety requirements we've made several functional improvements to the watch over the years uh, the first and most noticeable one is uh, the sound quality of the watch has been greatly improved uh, we had to work through the first 20,000 units to get the uh, <laughs> The Chinese music off of our uh, initial run, and this is what the the watch sound the music sounds like now. You can I think you'll agree that's been a great improvement. Uh, from a design function, uh, we also noticed that we've made several changes to the watch. The f most notable is uh, re in regards to making it more water resistant. Uh, when we designed the watch, we used an oval hole over the speaker because we wanted to maximize the sound that came out of that small, tiny little speaker in the potty watch. We did that because my wife likes to say it's as much a reminder for the child or for the parent as it is for the child and we wanted to make sure that the caregiver in the next room could hear the watch when it goes off and while the large oval hole achieved that goal it also left a big opening for water to get in which isn't good for electronic circuitry. Uh, so you can see we've made the change to a rectangular mesh above the speaker hole. This allows us to keep the same volume out of the speaker, but it also uh, increases the uh, water resistance for the watch. If you take an a eyedropper and put a, a drop of water on top of that speaker hole, it'll beat up on the surface rather than going in. You still can't submerge it in water. We recommend that it's not left under a, a steady stream of water, but it is a lot more water resistant. While that improved things greatly, we also noticed that the original design had a hard uh, plastic timer button. While this is easy to push, it also, it also had a design flaw in that it let water in on all four sides. To eliminate that problem, we've recently changed to a uh, co-molded soft plastic that still meets all the safety standards, but uh, it makes this particular opening completely watertight. And while we've seen uh, a vast, ha, while that's really improved the number of uh, comments, it's greatly reduced the number of comments actually of, on the blogs that said from people saying that it gets wet too easily. But we've also noticed that uh, some it's increased the number of uh, complaints that the, the, the di it's difficult to push. Uh, we're on our second production run, and I think it's getting better. But if you happen to have a watch that was from the original production run for, with the the, the whole. There's a little troubleshooting tip that we learned from the factory that will help uh, remedy that problem. All you need to do is take a uh, teaspoon or uh, the tip of a fingernail file, anything that's hard and thin and basically follows the contour of the, the little soft rubber button. What they do at the factory if it's too tight to push is they take the, the tip of a teaspoon and push down just above the word timer on the cold on the rubber button and push down where the the colored button meets the white plastic of the uh, watch case if you push down gently until the timer goes off that usually softens up the connection between the hard and soft plastics so that you can hear the uh, mechanical switch underneath and that should make it a lot easier to push and solve your problem if that still is difficult to push you can repeat the process underneath the word timer towards the bottom uh, where the white and colored plastics meet and that should eliminate that problem. We are constantly working on improving the potty watch as I said I'm the principal of the company and I've been to China for every major production run. Neither my wife or I are engineers so we've relied a lot on uh, comments from our customers for making improvements to the potty watch. You can uh, leave your comments at uh, the Address our web address is on the bottom of the watch www.pottytimeinc.com or you can feel free to call us at 801 523 5080. We thank you very much for your support of our family run business. We hope that the potty watch is successful for you and that your homes are all soon diaper free. Thank you very much.